everyone, it's Elite with another process video. Um, I made this layout a while ago and um, yeah, I'm not sure actually why I didn't um, like edit the video um, because I really like it. So <laughs> here I am narrating it away. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been uploading um, many videos lately. It's just that June is um, turning out to be a bit of a busy month. Uh, my mom is visiting me now in Austria and we're just spending time together with my daughter and having a great time. So I haven't been able to scrapbook or uh, make more videos and the rest of the month is also gonna be kind of busy um, but I hope to be back in July with some more pages. I have lots and lots of ideas and all kinds of like fun products um, coming to me like the June Scraptastic kit which is I think one of my favorite kits in a while now um, so I I'm really looking forward to um, being able to scrapbook again uh, probably in July. Um, yeah, so this layout is... I really like it when I discover different collections that work really well together. And one such discovery was um, how the Finley collection from Glitz Design uh, worked so well with the Lemon Lush by Studio Calico and it just looks great together and I was really happy because I only have the 6x6 paper pad from the Lemon Lush or at the time that I made that layout that's all I had <laughs> in the meantime I got a few other things from that collection because I love it um, oh and by the way I saw some um, like images of uh, coming Studio Calico collection. I think it's called Under the Boardwalk and it looked super cute. I just thought it really reminded me of the Lemon Lush kind of with the, I don't know, the general feel of the um, collection. Uh, so I hope that um, it will be popping up in some future kits. Um, because it looks like a really pretty collection, so well done, Studio Calico. Um, I chose like a 12 by 12 paper from the Finley collection, as I said, by Glitz Design, and I love uh, this paper. It has like this nice shade of, I don't know, it's like a green or some dark mint or something, and it's distressed, and it looks really beautiful. I wanted to add some gold touches to it so I tried stamping but it just didn't look right and eventually I just went with some um, like very subtle, um, I don't know, it's not really splatters but just some gold uh, mist and the mist I used is from Lindy's Stamp Gang and it's one of the glitz sprays. Um, Mine, the one I used here is called Medieval Gold and it's really nice because it's just shimmer so um, I just like to use it um, as kind of my gold spray um, I also like the Heidi Swap um, gold um, but yeah I kind of somehow reach more like for this one not sure why but it's a really really lovely shade of gold and um, it's supposed to be like that you can use it on other uh, sprays and just add glitter but as I said I like to use it just as a gold spray so they also have like other um, colors of shimmer like the the glitz sprays but I think I have gold and silver which is my you know it's kind of a staple uh, in my stash. So what I'm doing here is I'm kind of building the layers behind my photo and 
I'm using, as I said, the Studio Calico Lemon Lush 6x6 paper pad. And I think all the papers I used here, or almost all of them, were leftovers from other layouts. Um, and I just, I really love using 6x6 uh, six six paper pads like this. I think it you can really stretch them um, if you use them like, th like that. So, you know, start by like die cutting a few papers and then you can use what's left of the paper as layers and yeah I just I really like the color combination on this layout um, I think it's very unique um, just how that purple looks with all the other colors um, I don't know, I really really like it and I don't think I have a similar page in my albums or that I've that I can remember that I've done. Um, with the embellishments I went with the a few stickers from the Finley collection and I don't know, once again it's like I, I think you can see just how well the colors work together. I mean that lime green is just so much fun and um, the Finley collection is kind of a baby themed collection but there are actually very few uh, items in it that you know can only be used for baby layouts. Um, but since I had that this photo um, I thought, why not, and actually used a few of the baby, um, like, stickers. And the baby in the photo is me! <laughs> I'm a child of the 80s. <laughs> um, or, as I like to say, I also spent some very, very important time in the 70s. Uh, I was born about two months before uh, the end of that decade but I think I've um, absorbed uh, a lot of the 70s. <laughs> I don't know, I just really love the music from that decade. I mean, David Bowie, hello. Um, it's like, oh, I just love him. And yeah, and also kind of the clothes, I have to say. I really like those pants that they used to wear then. Um, but anyway, I grew up in the very uh, questionable uh, stylish era <laughs> of the 80s <laughs> um, but that's completely irrelevant so it's a photo of me as a baby and um, my parents were never really good with taking photos and it was you know the time of like film cameras um, so there are of course photos from my childhood um, but mostly my parents have them at their house in Israel, <laughs> so a different country. <laughs> and also because I am the second child, um, I have, I think, less photos. I'm not going to say, you know, significantly less, but <laughs> obviously they were more um, camera happy with my older brother. Um, but I still have a few photos from when I was a baby, but, you know, they're not, like, really great photos. Except this one. This one is, like, one of the very, 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 very few, or might be the only, like, really great uh, baby photo of me. So, this is, like, I think, uh, I think at some point I scanned the original photo, or I took a picture of it, or something like that, and this one I printed from my computer. Uh, so I think the original is with my parents. Um, but yeah, I really like this photo. And um, yeah, I had black hair as a baby and then it kind of uh, became blonde for like a minute and a half and stayed in a mousy brownish um, unattractive <laughs> color. Um, and that's why I think I started my quest for um, the perfect hair color when I was yeah, probably around 15 years old. And now I've settled on red and I'm quite happy and I feel quite like, you know, I, 
I should have been a redhead. <laughs> um, yeah, that's again not really important for this layout. I added some splatters using some white mist and I can't really see on the video because it keeps freezing when I'm talking. Um, it's probably the glitz... the sorry, the Lindy Stamp Gang um, Frozen Jack Frost white mist and I'm using a big round brush to create some big 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 happy splatters and yeah I just felt it needed something oh and now I see that I also made some butterflies using my favorite um, punch which is the Marta Stewart punch that punches like three butterflies at a time and added that to the layout and some journaling as well about me being a baby and a cute one I hope you enjoyed this weird video. Have a great day. Bye.